Hey guys, it's Chris with Android Espionage, and today we got something special in the mail from ThinkGeek.com. I've waited a long time for this. It is a TV remote. Just jump straight into the unboxing. Show you what we have here. Here it is. Just kidding. So this isn't just any TV remote. This is the Twelfth Doctor's Extending Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote Control. This is from the One Company and. Uh, some of you might know they've built other products such as the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver TV Remote which is very similar to this one, um, the 10th Doctor's before that, and the actual wand TV Remote as well. So, it's not much in the uh, shipping box obviously, it's from ThinkGeek, it was a cool ThinkGeek sticker, shouts out to them. Definitely shop here. It's uh, Really, really cool website for good stuff, obviously. And we'll jump straight into the unboxing. So, a few differences between this year's model and the one that came out before it, the 11th Doctors, is that this one actually extends. Uh, the 11th Doctors did not, so a few people weren't too happy about that one. Um, also, the button placement was a little weird because last year's model had the button to control it on the end. So now they've changed that because now the uh, the buttons on the handle itself where it should be. So a lot of people are happy about that. <clears throat> so just to jump straight into it, we've got a few directions on how to control this thing. It's all gesture based, so um, if you're actually using it to control something, you won't, there's no actual button, it's all, you know, other than changing the uh, different settings, but if you're actually controlling it, it's all gesture based, so, it's from the one company, and this is an officially licensed Doctor Who product, so, it's both the uh, TV remote and an exact replica, so, it's actually made from, made from the uh, actual model prop. Alright, so to show you the box there, then the screwdriver in this extended mode with the handle and the uh, base. And let's jump straight into it. I think that's everything. Alright, so. Jumping into the box here, we've got the manual here. Instruction manual, and it looks pretty cool because when you actually open this up, it looks like a blueprint of the screwdriver. Excuse me, I'm doing all this one handed. <laughs> so. It's like a really cool blueprint of the screwdriver. You can tell they, they put a lot of work into this too. Then the actual instructions on how to install the batteries, which are not included. It takes two uh, AAA batteries, and you actually have to unscrew the screwdriver from its base to install them. A lot of people think it's really weird because the pin doctors is actually rechargeable via micro USB and both the 11th and this one are not the case <laughs> so not too happy about that but what can you do right, just looking at it here you met with the base on top which has that little Gallifrey design and pulling this out actually impossible 100 so we're just gonna lift this up pull it out of the box 
Alright. Take it aside there. There it is. The base pops out a little more easily out of the box. There you see it. So it got a frame design there. It's pretty cool. It's plastic. And I'm guessing the screwdriver just pops right into there. And then this is the screwdriver itself. Oh. That's really nice. It's got a really good weight to it. Uh, it's a bit top heavy if you ask me, but it is very nice though. There you see the button on there. Turn it off and on right now. It's not working, of course, because you have to install the batteries, but it's got a nice little click to it. And what I was saying before was back with the 11th Doctor's screwdriver, this used to be the actual button to control it, so they've moved this button onto here now, so that's nice. So just going to move that aside and just take a look at how it stands up on the base there. So that's pretty cool. It's not gonna fall out either. Awesome. And the cool thing is it also due to popular demand flicks. Whoop. That wasn't very strong, so it, it actually flicks out. It's like that and they have a really nice copper finish over here, and this is aluminum, I'm assuming, right here. Nice metal build with a little milky green core running down the middle. And yeah, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall in either. It's pretty much locked into place, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna install the batteries and then we're gonna give it a go. Alright guys, so I've installed the batteries, and we're just going to turn this on for the first time. Control mode. Memory bank B. Awesome. And as we can see, it's already... Quiet control mode. FX mode. Practice mode. Control mode. It's ready to go. Memory bank B. So just to go through the different settings, there's... Quiet control mode. Quiet control mode. FX mode for all the little sounds. So if you hold this button down, you get your screwdriver sound. And if you actually press once and hold again, I'm sorry, press twice and hold on the third press, you'll get nothing. But when you actually hold it down and move the screwdriver, you might get different sounds. That's really cool. Alright. That's really cool. And then to close it up, you just close up these little prongs and push down, and there you go, it's all set. It's actually not too hard to, to flick either, just a, a gentle flick would do. Extend it. Mode. Oops. <laughs> this is cool. Up, down, anti clockwise, clockwise. Pull, push. Alright, now we're just going to give it a go on the TV. Alright, guys, I programmed this to my TV. So there you can see I'm hooked up to my TV. And we're just going to give this a go. That's pretty cool. Then you've got your volume controls. That's really nice. Volume down. Nice. Alright guys, we're wrapping it up now. We're all set. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.
And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. As you can see, I've programmed it to my heater as well. So I'm going to test this thing out a bit. And uh, I'll let you guys know how I enjoy it. But as always, thanks for tuning in. And... Stay tuned.